for that surprise reveal with the Aghanim Scepter. Tims around to break the smoke but he can leap right away as they just cannot see him at the moment he has his whole team behind him but they'll charge right through right through Jackie into Skem they found the lion and that's what you want the boat will come in it doesn't do too much but they'll try to focus down mid one with the finger Skem he will finally drop as they just try to protect that morphling the stone gaze almost slowing him down enough to go back in onto the morph but mid one he's just ignoring everybody else and just going after the supports you do find a DD to go into the Roche good scan from SMG does tell them doing Gonna be in a position to try and force a fight here first. And they're gonna find that tusk immediately. Roger, he'll be the first victim of Boom Esports as mid one. Tried to reinitiate, but doesn't want any part of it. What else have they got? With the disruption, they found Arfu. He is dropping real darn quick, but he gets the purge out in time. It just won't mean anything. In fact, they're going for more now. They might have a die back onto Roger. He's dropping low. They'll try to save with mid one. Scam will drop in Tim's. He's also gone. In fact, a double stun out at BZ. He might be the third and he will go down. But how do you deal with this Medusa? Jackie pops the stone gaze. Back in on the Leshrac they go. They want Moon down and they might just have him. But no, the blink away is there. So instead it's back in onto mid one with the hex out Scam. He does lock him down long enough. It looked like a nice turn for SMG, but just Great. not good enough. In the and now they can begin that siege. They've got to do something about this Dusa. Well, here we go. The charge is in from mid one. He'll get started, but you've got to worry about that Aegis and Moon. He cops an arrow. It's a five second arrow, in fact, but Arfu will save with the disruption in the backside. They're trying to jump that line again, but Scam, he is surviving. He'll turn with the Hex out and the Earth Spike. Mid one's been caught out. The Roar is there. Oh, no. FPZ, he's got him. Mid one is down without buyback. That is terrible, terrible news for the side of SMG, as now they will just charge, charge backwards onto Raging and the Roger Tusk. And they completely wipe him out himself. He'll pop the BKB though. Again into Skem. But Skem's being protected. He'll get the Hex off in time. And now they've caught out too. With the Torrent. Or the other Tidal Wave. They've got Roger. A great Torrent Storm out. Has caught two of them right in the Torrent. And Raging Potato is so darn low. But not dead yet. He'll try to run. But it's looked like there's no running here for the Spirit Breaker. Afu. He'll go for a TP out, but Tim's has got him with the Yule Scepter. Mid one, he'll have to do this by himself. He'll take down your punch, but can he deal with the rest? Jack is still just whacking away, and he's forced to run. But it's a 2v3 scenario. It's the triangle raging. He's got to worry about Skem as well. You've got an Aeon Disc now on that line, so it's not that easy to burst him down. In fact, the Hex is there in time anyway. Who else are they chasing? Mid one, he's been roared up. He's trying to make his way over. They're still trying to get that lion, but Skem is just so, so sneaky. He's still out of there. Now raging, he's the one in trouble, but he's a bit tanky, or maybe not. Not with that tidal wave, but he'll charge. He'll just try and charge his way out. Meanwhile, Yapashi does find Minwa, but never mind him. They'll go in onto Roger instead, who's still trying on that lion. But Skem is just so, so sneaky. He will not give the opening away. As Jackie gets onto those T4 towers, how do you stop this man? It's tough. I, I think the SMG are doing the right thing trying to rip the back line, but they just don't have the damage to clear out even the supports. Oh, the tidal wave gonna cancel the charges again. They're going on to Skem. They have the lion this time. Mid one, he gets something, but they've lost Raging Potato and Arfu in the process. And now Moon, he's been caught out. The torrent will be right there onto the Lesh, and there's just no way out for him. Mid one's the last remaining survivor, but there will be buybacks from SMG to try one last time to defend this. 3v5. The charge is there. They'll start onto the Conquer, but man, oh man, that Stone Gaze and the Petrify out with the Mystic Snake. It's just way too much. They go right into it. More buybacks to come. Mid one, waiting for his teammates, but the Petrify again. Out from Jackie and now Raging, who's forced the BKB up and try to go onto Tim's, but he can do nothing. He can do absolutely nothing to help out his team. They will take down the Spirit Breaker once again, and the GG will be called by SMG. Game way to go the way of Boom Esports. Expected a lot more early. Thunder's there. They, they're just playing so well as a unit from Boom. And this is the impressive part. They take in this new part of this machine with Jackie. It still works out well. SMG not willing to give this one up though. They've got to try and find it for the Stone Gaze and the Rolling Thunder's FBZ. He's found two oh targets God. again. Into the Mortimus Kisses Moon. He wasn't in the snowball. He was out of range, they couldn't save him. He'll buy back and try to reinitiate, but his team's falling apart around him. Three buybacks already from SMG. They jump back in on the Dusa. Jackie's falling low in terms of mana, but he does pop that stone gaze in Arfu. He was charging the wrong, wrong target. They couldn't lock him down. Still, they'll try back in for the Roshan now, knowing all those spells are down, and SMG might be able to get away from it. With Arfu, no, scam, he's jumped in, but it's not enough. Mid one does get the Aegis up. But can he survive as the arrow has landed on the morph? It looks like he can. 
So boom, they will lose the Roshan. They might even lose your Parge here, but he does manage to blink away in time. And with the Eye of Skadi slow out from Jackie, it looks like it's going to be Roger's oh life God. to pay. They even keep trying to fight, but the arrow oh. again onto Moon. Tim's is Mid just one? not missing. Mid one way formed in to try and help out, but now he's in trouble. He does at least get the sun off, but your Page is there. Still strength morphing. Maybe he has a chance. He'll wave form the other way. Still the chase is on Tim's. He will not connect the star for, but the oh. scanner blast is not going to oh. connect either. The leap was there. Mid one. He is trying to make magic happen, but he loses the oh, ages. Gonna take the bait, Jackie. He's baiting them in. Right now, as Rolling Thunder is going to be out. Oh, mid one. He rolled right into them. Arrow's not going to land on the Morphling, but it may not matter as they have the Perma Stunt from FBZ. And the chase is on. Just driving all over the place, finding out another hero. He'll get the Tide. And Raging could just not use this Ravage. Or maybe he can. A four-man. In fact, five-man Ravage out. But do they have the follow-up? Do they really have the damage? It doesn't seem like it. Even with Moon around, he's just got no damage items at the moment. These supports on Boom can just stall out for such a long time and make it very punishable if you overcommit. As we said from the draft, like they can rip through the backline, but they can't afford to overcommit like that. Jack boys, though. Yeah, wrong thunder into our fur, but you've got mid one charging in himself in this morphling with the ags up. Problem is again, they are lacking that follow-up damage, even if they have these perma stuns. Rolling Thunder is going to be stopped in its tracks as mid one does try to get started. A nice oh nether God. strike, but there's just kind of blast out an FBZ. He has used himself up and survived, but not for long. He does finally go down a Roger. Meanwhile, Moon, no. he jumped in, but I believe he got sunned up immediately. Moon, still alive. They're trying out the Tims and they'll get the Marana down, but now mid one, he's been caught out again. He should be all right to get out though. Jackie probably won't have enough on his own, but they Ooh. do find Moon on the Ember. Your Page again setting up for a triple kill, and here comes mid oh, one. No. Just trying to TP away, but it's gonna be another kill to go the way of Boom Esports. Again, double life on Jackie. They're gonna find out Tim's, but the arrow does land onto Moon already. Meanwhile, Raging has jumped in right into the center. Is who are they aiming? They got Skim on that line, but now the Stone Gaze has been popped. Jackie, who are we aiming? He'll go after the Tide again, just wanting to get rid of that Ravage as he does now pop it. Mid one though, getting very low as well. They're just grouped up in that tree line, but they do take down the Tide as Mid one will charge back in onto FBZ, but he's gone too far. No. He's gone way too far, but he will waveform back towards the north and try to survive for another day. Oh, Meanwhile, the little Shredder, your pass just melts them he completely melts the side of smg just targeting them down they might even find our food an ultra kill once again for the snap fire in fact he's looking for the rampage john up a top lane yep, looking in his yep. scam they find whoa oh. canceled his own fiend script there i think knowing it was about to get canceled by the the centaur and carl just Eats up the Bane with his BKB, looking for a new target. Nice Chronosphere on a two. The Ghost Ship follow up, and they've got the Pangolier. Rolling Thunder or not, the Chronosphere is going to lock you down. Jackie comes into the fight on the PA. He's committed his BKB for this one, but he hasn't got the damage to deal with Carl, I don't think. And that Silver Edge is something he's got to respect as well. Will quickly lose all his evasion if he's not careful. Jackie comes back in with the glimpse back, but it looks like both teams with a two for two are looking to see whether or not they can re engage. Tim's going to time lapse himself and. Also get a nice Athos add on to Gabby. The cookie away. Gabby gets low and he dies to the Sonic Wave. Oh, the crit actually... I think the crit actually killed him before the Sonic Wave. It wasn't... He didn't even get hit by the Sonic Wave. He's like, I, I just want to take... That, that plus two strength. You know, that's going to make the difference is what he's thinking, but... Yeah. Just jumped on the Void. Forced a time walk away. Tanked the Static Storm without BKBing. We'll get pulled back in here. He may lose his Aegis without much in exchange, but he's managed to blink in aggressively once again with the Satanic. Doesn't lifesteal... All too much. Gets brought low and actually finished off by Zephyr. So they've taken out the Aegis now. They will have that Chronosphere now to deal with the BKB as well as the Raw. But on the back line, just the Queen of Pain. Yopa jumping in. Perhaps a little bit too deep. He's Chronosphered underneath the Tier 4 Towers. Ghost Ship follow up is there as well. But the Grip onto the Faceless Void. The Queen of Pain does still go down here. But Jackie on the PA looking to clean things up here. And without a Raw or a Chronosphere, they just don't have the control to address the PA. They glimpse her back though, perhaps with this, she's going to be too far in alone. The Scatterblast stun hitting her up as well with the Torrent, but here comes FBZ to perhaps save the day, or at least save the PA. They know they need to get him out alive here with the Satanic Jackie still healing himself back up. Fan of Knives doing a bit of damage as well, but he's been broken once more by the Silver Edge. Rolling Thunder comes to an end, and now it's full retreat for Jackie, but he gets glimpsed back into a Static Storm. Now he's in some trouble if there's any damage. Gabby's trying to find him, gets the time dilation slow. Scatterblast not going to come out as Zephyr gets stunned up. 
Nice play from Jackie to Phantom Strike away from the Scatterblast, but another glimpse back. He needs his BKB. He hasn't got it. Instead, he's got maybe a Satanic to heal his way through it. He's going to turn and look to fight his way out of this one. They just don't have an answer for Jackie. They try as hard as they may. They just can't kill this PA. BKB or not. Like, I wish Tino would, would really pull a hard weight like when Yopash had a bad game. And Jackie's showing that he can easily do it. And they're looking for that. Killing blow now. Going for the tier 4 towers. Going for the throw. No GG call yet from T1. They've got the buyback on the void. One last hurrah. They go in with the scatter blast into Cookie Stun onto the PA. But I don't know if they've got the damage to this one. Not when PA has a BKB still. That he's holding onto. Cuckoo survives a little bit longer with a Ghost Scepter. But it's not really going to be enough. Gabby's going to be forced to time walk out of this. And the dagger kills Whitemon in his own fountain. GG is called. Shoving bot, but looks like Boom are ready for the defense. That they are. Yopage is in with the Torrent and the boat. Carl, though, going to be forced to BKB up, but FBZ trying to get in range for the duel is going to be unable to get it. Still, they'll force the fight. Zephyr trying to back off, but here comes Jackie. He'll join his team. They really want that Nyx Assassin dead and should eventually be able to chase us. In fact, never mind that. They're going north up to Cuckoo and the Lena. They've got the duel out onto the Viper. Cuckoo's in big, big trouble, but the Laguna Blade out on FBZ. It's going to be enough in the end, but Carl's gone down. Tim takes the kill, and now Cuckoo, he will climb. Closely follow behind. TP out from Skim. And they're still not done. They have Chrono to play with here in Jackie. Oh, Gabby. They saw Gabby for a second. He'll try to meld. to blink away. But Jackie's oh. got both of them in the Chrono. He's got everything he could ask for. Into the Torrent boat. And Yopage will clean up. Get the brooms out. Because Zephyr now. He'll be the third. Carl's going to try and help. But I'm not sure about that, Carl. He's run right into the whole side of Boom. But can they lock him down? It looks like they just may. As he'll BKB up. But FBC's got another duel out. Onto the Lena this time. Another victory for Boom. He's going to blink towards the creep wave in fact never mind now they know exactly where he is in gabby spider legs up it's not gonna matter the jewel is there they've got the breakout and the boat to fly in meanwhile roshan has started from jackie but he was trying to do it well not by himself or kinder i suppose as zephyr was trying to interrupt but he may get punished himself for this zephyr misses the impale is gonna go down and roshan will be continued by boom gg you call it They've had enough, and I don't blame them, Jonathan. Esports, though, kind of prepared for this and just waiting for them to make their way in. The creeps from FBZ almost baiting them in. They have seen Gabby. Torrent oh. is going to land. Gabby, Lincolns are broken, and now with the silence out, he can't strength morph. They get the overgrowth in time, but oh Gabby's gone. Sonic Wave is there, but what good is it when you've already lost the Morphling? Now Carl is going to try to run, but they X him right back into the loving arms of Jackie. And Cuckoo, well, he's out of mana. He can't blink away, and that's going to be four to go down for T1 as Boom Esports are just rolling all over them. And that looked like the best angle for T1 <laughs> that we've seen so far. Whoopsie. Like they managed to get a good overgrowth. <laughs> it just does pop, Jackie. Probably doesn't care too much as the high ground still opened up here. No overgrowth, no sonic wave, no exorcism. T1 can't really do much on the high ground right now for a defense. They've got freezing field, but what's White Mon can do about it? Oh, they're not missing these arrows, John. White Mon just going to be sniped from a <laughs> mile away as Skem gives the tips out. <laughs> I mean, what do you do? We talked about it, John. He's playing Crystal Maiden against the draft of Boom Esports. You know he was going to be in trouble. Oh, yeah. I mean, I get why it's there. You know, just eat the boar. Shut down that nice and that didn't do much. They might not even die. Yeah, GG. GG? Another Again. very anticlimactic GG to come out from T1. This time, 20 minutes in. Going to find Skem. Carl, he's going to land the X. Won't throw out the torrent though, instead Nightmare will be there though Skem does get stunned up, but again it's a very weird team fight from T1 thus far, as they haven't really fully committed. And Boom Esports, they will fully commit if they want to. And that they do, they start to move in, not really finding the target yet as FBZ, he's going to be targeted here by T1. A lot of HP being removed right now, but Nightmare is there from Skem to try and save his FBZ. He is still alive. Tim's meanwhile will come in now with the Rolling Thunder. It's going to be a nice stun out as Jackie does move in with that Battle Trance onto Cuckoo. They've got rid of Wymon and now the Sonic Wave out to Poi. He lands on absolutely everybody as they even find Gabby. They just don't have the damage. Wymon? 
of an awkward miss on the Earth Spike. So Scam, he can go for a nice easy nightmare onto that line. But Help is still around. If they want to keep White Mon alive, they can. But it does seem like they're leaving poor old White Mon alone. Did you just die? In Ooh. fact, the great shackles from Tim's. He found Cuckoo, and now the Fiend's Grip is going to force them to try and fight. But they will just stun him up and let it go as they just try to run. But Jackie, he'll still chase them down with a great light strike. Array now to poison. Zephyr's going to go down on the IO and the shackles. It's not going to land this time, but they'll get a nightmare out from Skem, and that should set up for another Light Strike Array very soon from Yopage, as Lelouch now has been trapped up and does go down. Forcing the issue every time. And smoke up Skem. He's going to have his smoke broken, but the slow is there, and pings are out onto Lelouch. Shackle, only going to lock him down for half a second. They move in, but the arena is there from FBZ onto Cuckoo and Whitemon. He just melts. Even Skem buying back into this fight because he wants to commit that ulti. But two already down for T1, and now the trap slow is pretty insane as Zephyr. He's going to get shackled up. He can't get out of there. He's going to drop, and Lelouch is not out of trouble yet either. He's out of mana as FBZ finds another target. That might be another kill for your Paj. An ultra kill for the Just leaner. Heads up plays from Boom. The patience for them to chain stun. The patience for them to get the right targets. Onto the tier 4s. They know Gabby's not showing up for this one. It's all Absolutely down to the Lush and the supports to try to hold back. The split earth is making this tough, but Jackie's damage is up there. Along with Yopai. So how much he can do is really up to, up to the air now. Certainly is Boom Esports looking to take these regional finals and become the champions of SEA. He's in the front, waiting for someone to show so he can make the jump in. Skem, meanwhile, might find Lelouch. They're going to try and blow up the Bane again. And he does go down. A great start for T1, but Lelouch, he gets blown up himself. And now, Kill with the Gale this. back and the arena, FBZ's in. They get Whitemon down, but Gabby, he's going to try and fight on that PA. He does get the Aegis of Jackie, but now with the silence out, he is locked down with nowhere to go. Gabby, no, oh, the relocate from Zephyr is going to be good enough. Gabby is still in the middle of all this. The relocate does not end up saving, or maybe it does, Gabby. He does blink strike out and does make it but it's gabby versus the world as fbz continues chasing the pa they'll buy back on cuckoo they are gonna try one last time to defend but boom esports they know this game is looking very very over as they go on to the ancient and the gg has oh been called my God. your champ <laughs>